Elon Musk, SpaceX and Google have joined forces to deliver data, cloud services and applications to customers at the network edge. This new partnership will see SpaceX set up ground stations at the tech giant's data centers around the world, enabling the secure, low latency and reliable delivery of data from 1,550 Starlink satellites in orbit via Google Cloud. But what does the deal mean for both Elon Musk and Google? Let's find out. If you are new here, we warmly welcome you. Starlink, the satellite internet constellation launched by Elon Musk's SpaceX, will connect with Google's cloud infrastructure, enabling the satellite broadband network to deliver low latency applications, data, and other cloud services to network edge deployments. To date, SpaceX has launched more than 1,600 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, including 52 last May. Once deployed, they appear as a train of lights in the sky. SpaceX pitches the satellite internet service as delivering point-to-point -point communications from anywhere on Earth. The cloud infrastructure deals with Google and Microsoft Illustrate, the long-term goal of tapping the lucrative enterprise edge market. Google said that SpaceX will locate Starlink ground stations within its data centers to deliver applications to the network edge, relayed by its growing satellite constellation. The collaboration combines Google's private cloud network with a satellite network service, eventually aimed at corporate users, including those beyond the reach of terrestrial connections. The Starlink Google Cloud capabilities will include secure data delivery to remote areas of the world. It will be available to customers by the end of 2021, Google said in a press release recently. SpaceX will install the first Starlink terminal at Google's New Albany, Ohio data center, a spokesperson said, adding more plans on the partnership will be shared in the coming months. Overall, the deal is a natural alliance for Elon Musk, SpaceX and Google, which in 2015 invested 900 million US dollars into the space company to cover an array of technology, including Starlink satellite manufacturing. Among the goals of the cloud and satellite partnership is penetrating the market for high volume enterprise customers, a segment where Google has attempted to differentiate itself from dominant players AWS and Microsoft Azure. Amazon popularized the public cloud business with the launch in 2006 of general purpose computing and storage tools from its Amazon Web Services division. Google introduced its own computing service in 2012. But over the last two decades, Google has also spent money assembling a private fiber optic network to connect its data centers. Coley, Google's head of global networking, said, while much of Google's cloud growth has come from taking care of computing and storage needs for clients such as Goldman Sachs and Snap, the SpaceX deal will draw heavily on Google's networking capabilities. Given the rocket rivalry between SpaceX founder Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, who turned over the reins at Amazon.com to focus on his Blue Origin space venture, Musk's decision to go with Google Cloud makes sense. The Starlink beta program that began last year has at least 10,000 users across the US, Canada and a few European countries with at least 500,000 deposits of $100 placed by potential customers of the service. Cloud providers have increasingly focused on the telecommunications industry, particularly with the ascent of 5G connectivity. For example, Amazon said Dish would use AWS infrastructure to deliver 5G service to consumers. In SpaceX's case, there is no need for cell towers. Instead, customer devices will communicate to satellites, and then the satellites will link up with Google data centers. Inside those data centers, customers can run applications quickly using Google's cloud services, and they can send the information on to other companies' services that are geographically nearby, enabling low latency so there's minimal lag. Data then comes right back to Google data centers to satellites, and then down to end users. Starlink's service might be valuable for consumers living in places with limited internet access, as well as businesses and government organizations running projects in remote areas, Kurian said. He anticipates that having Starlink draw on Google's cloud network will lead organizations to deploy applications inside Google's cloud to take advantage of high speeds. What does the deal mean for Google Cloud? The deal with SpaceX is a significant win for Google's cloud service, a perennial runner-up to cloud leaders Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. 
Cloud Services Tracker Synergy Research Group recently ranked Google among its high-growth cloud providers, gaining market share. Cloud companies have also tapped into the telecom sector thanks to a jump in demand for 5G connectivity. Google's cloud business accounts for about 7% of its total revenue, as the latest earnings report. The deal with Google, which is expected to last up to seven years, gives Starlink the opportunity to deliver data reliably and with low latency to customers through Google Cloud. Analysts reckon that this deal is unusual for Google, or indeed any other cloud provider, since it relies heavily on Google's own internal network rather than outsourcing functions like data storage. With Google and Starlink working together, it means customers' devices will be communicating directly with the satellites linked to Google's data centers. The data centers will then send the data back to them through Starlink satellites. Google's head of global networking, Bikash Kohli, said, This was one of a kind. I don't believe something like this has ever been done before. The real potential of this technology became very obvious. The power of combining cloud with universal secure connectivity. It's a very powerful combination. They chose us because of the quality of our network and the distribution and reach of our network, said Thomas Kurian, CEO of Google's cloud group. Google is not the only cloud provider to be working with Starlink. Microsoft, which runs another massive cloud service dubbed Azure, that also competes with Amazon's cloud, also partnered with SpaceX last year in a similar partnership. Microsoft was working with SpaceX to bring Starlink internet connectivity to modular Azure cloud data centers that customers can deploy anywhere. SpaceX would still rely on Google data centers in that scenario. A person familiar with the matter said, data would travel from the customer's Azure modular data center through the Starlink satellite to Google's data center and then out the other cloud services and return in the opposite direction. Our current partnership with SpaceX's Starlink provides high-speed, low-latency satellite broadband to extend our Azure capabilities with worldwide satellite connectivity and unblock cloud computing in more scenarios. A Microsoft spokesperson told CNBC in an email, efforts are currently underway to expand those scenarios and we will have more to share in the coming months. We can say that the partnership is a major victory for Google, which is evidently working towards taking a share from competitors Microsoft and Amazon when it comes to the fast-growing cloud computing market. It should be noted that this deal is unusual for Google or any other cloud provider since it relies heavily on Google's own internal network rather than outsourcing functions like data storage. Did Google make the right decision by signing a deal with Elon Musk's company, SpaceX? It would be a pleasure to see your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again.